Q and A will inspire you to start a YouTube channel and slash will upload mostly How to Train Dragon content. Nothing in, really in particular. <laughs> Initially, I made videos about Pokemon. You're never going to see those videos. And then I made some How to Train Dragon theories because it's one of my favourites. And it kind of just spiraled from there. And then over time, I sort of realised, or as I got a little bit better at making videos, I sort of realised there's a bit of a gap in the market, a bit of a niche to fill because there's no real big How to Train Dragon YouTubers. And it's a fairly big franchise as well. You know, the biggest ones I know of are like Silver Willowing. She mostly plays at the School of Dragons, which you could do a lot more with the franchise. Hello, future me, but he doesn't make How to Train Dragon content anymore. And then I saw some Noxton videos and I sort of like how he explains Pokemon stuff. And I thought, I could pretty much do that with dragons. Favourite How to Train Dragon character? What's your favourite character in the series, both human and dragon? Toothless. And then probably Gobba. What's your favourite and least favourite movie slash show in this universe? My favourite is probably the first one. <laughs> least favourite show, probably Nine Realms. What are you thinking of doing to your channel moving forward? Like, what videos will you post? Do you have any projects planned for the future? If so, give us some details. Well, I have many stuff I want to do, <laughs> but very little time. So basically, I want to bring back the Dragon Moral series, where I go into detail about each Dragon episode uh, in sort of cinema sense ish format but I'll probably be giving actual criticism instead of just stupid jokes and I want to be a bit more balanced instead of just all sins are all good it's just a bit of both I want to bring that back but I'm still sort of looking for an editor it's a bit of an awkward situation there I want to do individual videos on specific dragons and the species and abilities I want to do a not firepower I want to explain their fire types been meaning to do that for a long time now and I sort of found a format that works and there is a tree of life thing that I want to do, how all the dragons are related, you know, evolution tree sort of thing, but that's going to be very complicated. I want to get in contact with a biologist. I know some bits, but not, I'm not a professional. <laughs> and I need artwork for it as well. But I've been having that for a good couple of years in terms of idea, just haven't gotten around to do it. Triple Strike or Death Gripper? Death Gripper. What's your opinion on the Screaming Death? It's cool. And what dragon scares you the most? Probably the Screaming Death, <laughs> if not the Whispering Death. Will you ever do a review of the movies or other shows like Riders of Ash Defenders of Buck or Race to the Edge? I'm currently making one, even though it's been a year, more than a year, probably coming up to two years since I lasted the last episode. Again, I need an editor. There's a playlist of like seven? If I can remember correctly, you can watch them. They're a little bit old, so it might be a little bit cringy. I have written the eighth episode. Um, again, editing. <laughs> also, I wanted to make an unnecessarily long analysis. Like the deepest analysis you can on probably all three movies. I'm talking like hours long. When should we expect your next not class video? Um, probably after this video. Maybe in like a month or so. I have started writing it, but it's more the editing that takes a while, and in this one is a lot of dragons. I still have already done the two smallest classes. If you could have one dragon in the real life that isn't Night Fury, which species would it be? Hmm. A species that is probably most like a dog that I can fly around. <laughs> I would say like Death Griff or Skrill, because they're like my second and third favourite. Actually, I'll take the Skrill because free electricity. So are you going to review all the Comfy Panda and How to Train Dragon video games? Probably, eventually. I do want to dive into a bit more video games and more transition period might help if I look at all the Comfy Panda and How to Train Dragon video games. I do want to, so yeah, eventually. <laughs> when did you become a How to Train Dragon fan? When I watched that movie in cinema. Been in more developed more as I started this channel, I started getting into the franchise a bit more. Because back then I was sort of a kid, and I'm like, huh, I like it, but never really got attached to anything. The only thing I was, the most of the franchise I was attached to was probably Pokemon. How Gronkle can fly with small wings? According to all known laws of aviation, a Gronkle shouldn't be able to fly. But somehow it does. Do you like Pokemon? Now, I can't say I do. Any opinions on the Stormcutter? 
Stonecutter, the species. That's cool. Cloud Jumper, smash. <laughs> Elden Ring when? Elden Ring when you get out your fat ass. Daniel Palmer with my little pony profile. Cringe, right? Who are you? <laughs> what does your profile picture look like a python? Because I'm not good at drawing. Well, to be honest, I, I have no idea. It's not meant to be a python. How are you? Um, not very good. Fault rip a fat one? <laughs> no, that is not a funny joke. Don't ever repeat it again. <laughs> Are you going to review things outside of How to Train Dragon? What kind of content will you do next? Other than How to Train Dragon Coffee Pan? Well, I have recorded two Let's Plays of Pokemon. <laughs> a Diamond and the Legends of Arceus. I did a stream and I wanted to do a big review on them. They're coming out sometime when I have time to edit them. <laughs> and also eventually Pokemon Scarlet. I want to do like an annual Pokemon thing every time there's a new one. Because I like Pokemon, I want to talk about them. And I have also done other stuff like I've talked about Frozen 1 and 2. I have also did a analysis of Rise of Darkrai which got completely blocked. Thanks, Show Pro. There's a link in the description. You can watch it. Please watch it. I spent a month editing it. I've been really hard. I'm really proud of it, but I can't show it to anyone unless Japan changes it. It's for all about fair use, which will be years away. So... <laughs> What's your favourite dragon from Race to the Edge? Catastrophic Quaken. What's the reason What's behind, the story name behind your profile, profile picture? picture? Well, it's an orca. But slightly humanoid for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> because my name is New Orca. There is an orca there. Do you have any pets aside from Kevin? Yes, but also no, because Kevin is not mine. <laughs> I don't own Kevin. Kevin is not my pet. Hence why it's voiced by Zane. I thought that was pretty obvious. But no, I have a Sammy dog. <laughs> Who judged me when I was doing the smash pass? I have a Lily, which is beautiful. She's getting a little bit old now. And a Charlie, who's also getting a little bit old now. He's cute, he's adorable, and he's probably the influence on why I like Toothless so much. How old is Kevin? Four. Zane never specified what units of measurements, but four. Most OP house train dragon dragon in your opinion. Maybe? with its sort of mind controlling thing. I don't know, I need to do more research because I've only sort of delved into two classes at the moment. I want to know more. Not probably, not a stereotypical one, one with just the weirdly OP ability like hypnotizing. I'm sure there's worse stuff out there after I've looked a bit more. What would you do if you had a power to make another How to Trade Dragon movie or series? Well, this video. The hell, Tarzan? Have you ever read the Wings of Fire series? No, I barely read. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I, I barely read. That's how far I've gotten through a book and it's been years. Coolest House of Train Dragon design in House of Train Dragon. Two plus. Well, okay, right. If we're doing coolest, probably Death Gripper or Skrill. I'm being very boring. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're cool. Oh, here we go. Ready? We want to cool. Why not? The Ice Breather, the Wildebeest. It's very cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna go and see myself out. Any updated takes on what you want for a Ford Country Panda movie if it ever comes out? Eh, not really. Um, I haven't really thought about it too much other than the videos are done. But, ooh, gotta kill it. I'm sort of just hoping it comes out. <laughs> Don't kill him! No! Also, what would you be your very last meal on death row? Gone a bit dark, hasn't it? Is this like a, a secret question where you really get the contents of my character? A key to the lock. A... no. Got it. A Monopoly card, get out of jail free card. That's what my last meal would be. It's very edible. Very delicious. <laughs> But I will also show the guards and um, go to Norway. Could you do a Disney slash DreamWorks Smash or Pass? Um, 
maybe? <laughs> oh, I might have just did it for that one video. I mean, I can quickly do one. Smash, smash, smash. Pass, pass, pass. Smash, smash. Am I the most boring person to you because I've been with you since day one? Well, if you've been with me since day one, then yeah. Will you do more Q&As in the future? More milestones, and if people want it. <laughs> After you. Will you not forget about me? No, I will not forget about you. Mainly because you are permanently featured in one of my videos, so you're here forever. What is your favourite animal? Um, have a guess. Your main clue is my channel name. Do you love your hair? Yes, I recently got it done. Will you ever make toy reviews? No. Do you like cars? Well, you can even mean the automobile machine or the Disney Pixar film. The machine? Don't really care about. The film? I have some nostalgia for it. I like it. What's your favourite dragon from Dragon of the Nine Realms? Probably Feathers slash Feather High. Yeah, vibe with it a bit more. I like the origins a little bit better than the others. Have you gotten any ham collection figures yet? No, and I won't because I'm not into collecting toys. I, don't, I answer that really weird. I'd say that as if I don't, I'm not into collecting toys. Probably could, but no, I'm not going to get any because I'm not into, not into getting them. Also, opinions of the possibility of speed stickings come back. Don't ruin them, please! Will you do a reaction to Rescue Riders Season 2 and The Secrets of the Song Wing? Do you like Rescue Riders? And will you make more videos on it? Maybe yes, but also no. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind doing more, but the issue is, is they take way too long and they give little back in terms of views and stuff or growth on my channel. I have to measure out what in terms of time, <laughs> timeline, <laughs> time, space, oh gosh. You know, what's better for my channel and at the moment the series is doing better and I want to uh, adventure with other series. They do pretty well, but again, I, time is just not on my side. It took me a whole month to edit it, edit that one series. That was when I had, was off and had all the time in the world. Currently, I don't. How old are you? 32. What's your name? William Newton. Will you watch The Nine Realms season three when it releases? Yes. <laughs> Content. <laughs> What's your favorite house train? What's your dragon favorite dragon? dragon? What is your what favorite, favorite house train dragon dragon? 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 Quest or Night Fury? I have made a video on this. <laughs> a lot of these questions are more. I have made a video on this, guys. You can watch it. Um, it is old. It has, this is very cringy. I might do an updated version more as I know dragons more. But if you want to know, the list is right there. <laughs> what do you think they will find in the new action they found in the last episodes of Nine Realms? English. Um. Well, you do have an Italian plan. And an Italian someday? We? We. <laughs> oh, I'll probably just explore it and find more stuff. I feel like it's going to be a little bit of an empty cliffhanger. They'll probably just carry on doing similar stuff what they did with the second season, but for the third season, discover new dragons, have more weird shenanigans that's going to go on, have more character arcs. Uh, I feel like this series is probably going to be pretty samey with let's wait and see <laughs> when did you start YouTube well if you go to the about section of my YouTube channel name th th there's the date that's it <laughs> do you know the muffin man the muffin man oh yes I know the muffin man the one who lives in Jury Lane yeah yeah, yeah I know him. nice man actually will you talk about the good bad guys probably eventually it does look pretty good ish I haven't seen it it looks fun I'm better I haven't seen it. Maybe. <laughs> Opinion on Spider-Man No Way Home. I kind of love it. What is your favourite prehistoric creature? Ooh. Dinosaurs now. Um. <laughs> prehistoric creature. I don't really have a favourite. <laughs> per se. I like Velociraptors. Or the Raptor. But mainly the ones in Prehistoric Planet. I love the designs in that. I can't wait to... Spread my love about that show because the designs are so good, man. I love them. Oh, that's everything I wanted and more from dinosaurs. Oh, sauropods. Sauropods are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I like how big they are. Not too sure about the SX though. <laughs> if you could have a Night Fury, what would you name it? Um, Luna? I kind of like that name because a boy? No idea. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it because I know it won't come true. And then that will make me depressed. 
What is your favourite endangered animal species? Would orca count? I don't know if they're technically endangered. Do 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 do. Pretty much any of them. <laughs> I love animals so much. Big cats, tiger. I mean, I have a 3D poster of a tiger. Fine, I'll show you. Blam. 3D. If you could rewrite the How to Train Dragon the Hidden World, what would you add slash change? I'll probably change the Light Fury because I don't really like how she's sort of a stereotypical feminine. Probably would change it to a Night Fury. I like the concept of the Hidden World, but it sort of bugs me because all the dragons can't really just exist there. In terms of it doesn't really make sense geologically because a genome or a, 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 a family. I need to, you know, research that bit. They don't really just exist in one area. Especially dragons as they can literally fly, so they'll be spread throughout the entire world. So all the dragons throughout the entire world and then go back to there. I don't know, a bit weird. Maybe that's not what the film is saying, that only those group that Hiccup got, and then the rest just die. I don't know, I like the theme of, you know, being an adult and standing on your own. But at the same time, it kind of bugs me because the world building doesn't really advocate for what happens. If you could go to the universe of a favorite show or movie franchise, where would you want to visit? Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, it's like, I want my own swine up. <laughs> I want swine up. Or Garchomp, Torterra. Pokemon, <laughs> because it's like heaven. As in, the main society is just really nice. <laughs> and also, I want to be going on trying. That was like a dream when I was a kid. Why is your YouTube channel named New Yorker? Well, the first half is my surname, and the second half is my favorite animal. Not really exactly rocket science, but it sounds nice together. Do you ever think we'll get any sort of content with Toothless and Hiccup again? No. I think that ship has sailed. What is your favourite toner? Well, if I get out my feet, it's 